Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for checking out the video. It finally warmed up here in New York, enough to get outside and use this new four tier pizza rack we got. So we made a couple of really good pies, learned what to do, learned what not to do for the next time around, for this was the uh, first time we used it. Okay, so do me a favor, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that notifications button. Okay, enjoy the video and check it out. Okay guys, first thing you're gonna wanna do is oil the heck out of an, one of the pans. I used olive oil. Not only does it taste great, but it's also healthy for you. So, and we just use regular pizza dough, floured it up a little bit. Now we're gonna stretch it out. I normally make a little crust around the edge when I stretch my pizza doughs out. Everybody does it their own way, whatever you like. All right, so you stretch the dough out and put it in the pan. Then we went basic tomato sauce, grated Romano cheese, some dried oregano. Then we went with a mozzarella and provolone mix as far as the cheese goes. Really tasty, it's a great combination. The provolone just gives a little extra bite and it just kicks it up an extra notch, as Emerald would say. This pie, we're using string cut yellow squash. Delicious. It's almost like a, the thickness of a spaghetti, but it's yellow squash. They sell it in the store carved up like this. I couldn't, I never saw it before. So I figured I'd check it out. It's gonna cook really quick. The squash will end up laying down and, and pretty much melting right into the cheese. So, and then we threw some capers on there just to add a little a little salt, a little salty, floury flavor, just, just to check it out and see how it was. I think it came out delicious, personally. Definitely happy with that. It was different. Okay, let's get this baby in the tandoor. First attempt. A little nerve wracking. I should have probably checked the temperature in there. I'll be doing that next time around. Still a little bit undercooked in there. I'll throw it back in for a couple more minutes. Okay, here we go. It's hot in there. Crust definitely got a little charred. But let's check it out and see what it looks like underneath. You tell me, but I think it looks pretty darn good. Let's see what it looks like underneath. Perfect. The bottom couldn't have been more perfect. Give it a little cut. Because I cannot wait to taste this pizza. It smells so good. crispy that is bottom came out great wish I could send you guys a slice this pizza didn't last long I'll tell you that is that cheesy enough for you all right guys enough about this pizza it was totally delicious 
Now let's move on to the next pie. We wouldn't do any justice with a pizza in the tandoor without making a kofta kebab meatball pizza, in my opinion. Okay, so we stretch out another dough. Make sure you put plenty of oil in the pan. Then we went with the basics again. Tomato sauce. I didn't want to make this too saucy because we're going to be putting spinach on it. And spinach holds a lot of water. So you don't want to use too much sauce on a spinach pie. Then we went with the mozzarella provolone mix of shredded cheese. Now we're going to pile on some spinach. Nice, fresh, raw spinach. This will cook right down. So you don't want to skimp. Best part right here, folks, the kofta kebab meatballs. I put them on raw. I had made some kofta kebabs the day before, and I saved some of the meat to roll into meatballs because I knew I was going to make these pizzas. You just throw a little more cheese on top. And that pulls everything together. And let's get this baby in the tandoor. I cannot wait to taste this one, guys. This is gonna be great. All right, let's see how, uh, how she came out. Oh, this looks awesome. Check this out, guys. That is awesome. I had a little bit of trouble getting this one out of the pan. I probably should have oiled it up a little bit better. And I think when I, I might have pushed the dough into the pan a little bit, I shouldn't have done that. left this pie on probably a, a couple of minutes maybe a minute or two too long I wanted to make sure the meatballs were cooked all the way through and when that happened it kind of it got a little little well done on the bottom definitely not unedible but I would have preferred it a little bit less cooked okay what did we learn here always bring the sauce to the end of the pan you don't want to have any bread, uh, I should say pizza dough exposed because the oven gets so hot that the exposed dough will char up real quick on you. Besides that, I think we're good to go for next time. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we will catch up with you soon.